Oh, hey, hey everybody. I didn't hear you come in. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Hey, let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is Bell's Porter. Uh, this comes from Bell's Brewery out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. It is an American porter coming in at 5.60% ABV. The food pairings for this beer, the cuisine, the barbecue, the cheese, buttery, the brie, gouda, habardi, swiss. It's a chocolate type beer, coffee, chocolate, it's a dessert beer. so. Uh, the meat for this would be beef, smoked meat, and grilled meat. Glass part of day, it's plain glass. You could use the back of the tie on the mug. Just pour it into something. Uh, not recommended for extended salarings at 5.6 LABV, and they brew this year round. So if you can get Bell's beers in your area, you should be able to get this one. Uh, the bottle do not have a date on it per se, but the label at the bottom has got a code on it, which you can go to the website and type, type it in and, and uh, and get the uh, the bottle on date or, or, or uh, when the beer, the beer was you know was brewed. So if you're at home or you got a computer in your pocket, that works out pretty good. But if you don't, you're screwed. So I just soon have the date on the bottle. Have to jump through hoops to find out how old it is. So that being said, I like Bell stuff, but go to the next step and put the date actually on the label where you ain't got to get on the internet and find out how how it is. So <laughs> that's just my opinion, guys. So. Let's get it in a glass. Let's give it a little aggressive pour here so we can get just a little bit of a head on this thing. Alright, that pours a fairly dark, just a slight ruby coloring around the very outsides of the glass. Like a very dark cola would be. Uh, I can't see any bubbles streaming up in the glass, it's so dark. Very dark beer. Yeah, I do see the bubbles now. They're accumulating underneath the head there. It didn't pour a massive head. About a half a finger and it's dissipating pretty quick. So, let's get a nose on and see what we got here. I'm getting roasted malts. I'm getting coffee. Maybe just a little chocolate. Coffee is stronger than the chocolate though. Maybe just a little smokiness there, so. Smells, smells like it's going to taste good. Let's give it a whiff. What do you think? Cheers. Very nice. A lot of roasted malt there. Coffee. Not so much chocolate as it would be... Uh, Roasted malts and coffee there. Very tasty though. Very tasty porter. Not getting alcohol, any alcohol at all in the taste. Very nice. Very pleasant. Yeah, I believe we got a winner here. I don't know if it's going to be a, a top notch, but it's just tasting better than average. So, and it's right out of the fridge, like I always say, guys, about 40 degrees. So, the, co the coffee and the roasted malts is the biggest biggest thing I'm getting here with it being out of the fridge. So, we're going to let it warm up and see if it changes any. And I'll be right back and we'll see what that final chug brings. Stick around. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass here. This is a good example of what a polar should be. Uh, you know, roasty malts, uh, coffee, little toffee, uh, real pleasant beer. I mean, it's really easy drinking, especially if you like the porters. Uh, just a little bit of a smoky flavor with this. So, final chug.
very pleasant, very easy drinking. Uh, I'm going to give this a 7. It's a B plus on the scale tonight. Ray Beer has this at 97 overall and 98 in the style. And Beer Advocate comes up with a B plus. So, uh, I agree with that. Uh, it's, it's, it's a 7 in my scale. So, if you've had the porter, let me know what you think of it. Uh, if you've not uh, seen it, pick it up. Give it a try. It's a year-round serving. So, if you can get Bell's beers in your area, you should be able to get this one. So, guys, let me know if you've had it. You like it, didn't like it. Rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll do it all over again tomorrow. Come on back. We'll see you then.